Hello boys and girls of North Campus. This is Channel 203, The Leaders in Logic, with our special Spring Break edition. Today we're going to be talking about greedy algorithms, which is a type of optimization problem. The greedy algorithm's main focus is on choosing the optimal... Um, good morning, boys and girls of North Campus. This is Channel 203, The Leaders in Logic, with our special Spring Break edition. Today we're going to be talking about the greedy algorithm, which is a form of optimization problem. The greedy algorithm focuses on choosing the best choice on a step-by-step -step basis, instead of looking at the sequence of steps that lead to optimal solution. This pro provides benefits and shortcomings, which we'll see soon enough. We could prove and disprove the greedy algorithm by looking at whether our solution is actually optimal or not based on what we know intuitively or other ways. Our barista Alex has some specifics for you on this problem. Hola amigos and welcome to Mexico. I'm Alex here reporting live at a Mexican bar where today I am actually going to take on the role of bartender and I'm going to use greedy algorithms to help make change. So I just had a customer come by and he needs, and he needs 65 pesos in change. So let's go ahead and let's use a greedy algorithm to determine how I'm gonna give this to him. And you can note that I have a one peso coin. I have a lot of five peso, 10 peso, and 25 peso coins. So 65 pesos, let's go. I'm going to look what's the biggest coin that can go into 65. Well, that would be my 25 peso coin. So I'm going to give him one 25 peso coin. And now I have 40 cents left over. So that's the first step. Now let's look at the second step. What's the biggest coin that can go into 40? Well, once again, that's the 25 peso coin. So I'm going to go ahead, give him another 25 peso coin, subtract out <clears throat> another 25 pesos. We have 15 pesos left over. So now, third step, going to go ahead and look what's the biggest coin that can go into this. Well, it's the 10 peso coin. I'm going to give him a 10 peso coin, and I have 5 pesos left over. Now my greedy algorithm is going to look one more time. What's the biggest coin that can go into five cents, five pesos? Well, it's the five peso coin. So five pesos, and I have nothing left over. So for 65 pesos, I am giving this man two five peso coins, one 10 peso coin, and one five peso coin. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't other ways I could give him change. I could have given him six 10 peso coins and five one peso coins. But the greedy algorithm, in the least amount of thinking, the fewest amount of steps, chose this method. Now that doesn't always mean that a greedy algorithm will work. So let's say it's been, a and I'm down to only 10 peso coins, 25 peso coins. And I have a customer who comes by and he needs 30 pesos in change. So now let's just think about this in a non-greedy way. Let's just think about this intuitively over here. What would I do if I wasn't thinking as a greedy algorithm? I would just give him three 10 peso coins, right? 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. However, that is not what a greedy algorithm would do. That is not greedy. Not greedy. So a greedy algorithm is going to say, okay, I have 30 pesos. Well, what's the largest coin that goes into 30? That's my 25 peso coin. So I'm going to give him one 25 peso coin. And now I have five pesos left. But that's a problem. The greedy algorithm just encountered one of its biggest problems. It wasn't thinking about the whole problem. It was thinking about each individual step. Because now I'm at a point where I need to give him five pesos, and I don't have five pesos, I only have 10. This shows a remarkable difference between a greedy algorithm and other optimization problems, where a greedy algorithm only thinks step by step, doesn't think about the problem as a whole. 
So now we're going to go on to Colin, who's going to show you how you can use a greedy algorithm to help you manage your time more effectively. Colin? Good morning, friends. Today we are going to look at a scenario where we are trying to schedule talks. Now these talks are proposed for specific times, and we will try to develop a greedy algorithm to schedule them in the most optimal manner. So let's create a timeline here. We'll start at 8 a.m. and end at 2 p.m. We'll have 11, 9, 10, noon, and 1 o'clock. Now, first we will look at one set of talks. First, we'll begin at 8 a.m. and go to 1 p.m. This will be talk one. Our second talk will be from 10 to noon. And our third talk will be from noon to 2. Now, we'll look at one way to attempt this problem, and that will be by selecting the talk with the earliest start time. That is clearly talk 1. But if we schedule that time, then that will interfere with both talks 2 and 3. So clearly this is not optimal. Now we'll look at another way. This case will be case number 2, where our first talk is from 10 to noon. Our second talk will be from 8 to 11. And our third talk will be from 11 to 2. Now the way we'll try to do this now is by selecting the shortest talk, in which case it is number 1, which is only 2 hours. But also, as we can see here, this is not optimal because 2 and 3 could also be selected. Now the third way we can try to do this is by selecting the talk with the earliest end time. Now in the first case, that is number 2, because it ends at noon. This case allows us to also select talk 3. So this is optimal because it allows us to schedule the most amount of talks. In case number 2, we have the same situation. Talk number 2 ends at 11, which is the earliest end time, which allows us to also schedule talk number 3. So both of these produce more optimal solutions than the other two manners. So as you can see, we have just developed a greedy algorithm for scheduling tasks. So essentially what this does is it sorts each talk by end time and then adds the first one, checks the second one, and if it, it's compatible, if it's able to be added to the set of talks, then you add it and you go through each one and it, you will eventually end up with a set of talks that will be scheduled and you will have the most amount possible. So that's it for me, sending it back to Mohammed. Thank you, Colin. We'd love to stick around and teach you more about the greedy algorithm, but we're just having too much fun here and this will be it for today. Stay classy, Ann Arbor.